close to the groom To the bride From your sister Who's always by your side To your union And the hope that you provide May you always Be satisfied I remember that night I just might regret that night For the rest of my days I remember those soldier boys Tripping over themselves To win our praise I remember that dream like candlelight Like a dream that you can't quite place But Alexander I'll never forget the first time I saw your face I have never been the same Intelligent eyes And a hunger pain frame And when you said hi I forgot my dang name Set my heart aflame Every part of flame This is not a game So this is what it feels like To match wits with someone at your level What the hell is the catch? It's the feeling of freedom Of seeing the light It's been fucking with the key and the kite See it, right? The conversation lasted two minutes Maybe three minutes Everything we said in total agreement It's a dream and it's a bit of a dance A bit of a posture It's a bit of a stance He's a bit of a flirt But I'ma give him a chance I asked about his family Did you see his answer? His hands started fidgeting He looked askance He's penniless He's lying by the seat of his pants Handsome boy Does he know it? Peach fuzz And he can't even grow it I want to take him far away From this place Then I turn and see my sister's face And she is And I know Alexander's eyes And I romanticize what might have been If I had incised him up so quickly At least, my dear Eliza's his wife At least I keep his eyes in my life To the groom To the bride From your city Thank you so much for voting. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I did this out of pure, in the moment, just excitement. The comment section for my reaction to Hamilton made me feel so moved. The fact that everyone was able to connect to something on an emotional level was touching. I think some of the comments of people who were able to open up emotionally and feel things out that they haven't been able to feel and do it in a healthy, safe way. Um, I just want to say that I feel honored. The fact that my emotional instability allowed you to be able to do that. So thank you so much. I mean that, I mean that from I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I'm really glad that you guys were able to find an outlet for yourselves and are able to work through those. And for those of you guys that I started commenting on with those kinds of experiences, I hope that you are doing well and that you're taking care of yourself, staying safe, taking care of yourself mentally, physically, and 
I just, I love all of you guys. And for those of you guys who commented, prior to that reaction, I've only listened to like a handful of songs before going into it. Because like I said in there, I was saving my uh, ears and my eyes for when I was gonna be able to go actually see it when it came on tour to LA. I was gonna drive up with a bunch of friends and we already made a plans to go see it on tour. Wait, was it LA or was it San Francisco? I don't really remember. It, it feels like a distant memory right now. But we made those plans because I waited to listen to the whole album. Obviously, as a thespian, I can't get away with ignoring all the albums, so I knew a few songs going in, but I didn't listen to the whole thing. So songs like Wait For It caught me by such a, like, a surprise. I was in a state of shock during that song. But I wanted to wait to watch it live, and I never got that chance. But that doesn't mean it'll never happen. I want to see the show live, in person, and experience the full thing. Talking to you guys who had the opportunity to go, I envy you, but I'm also, like, you guys are so lucky. I love you guys. Really glad that I got to talk to a lot of you about it. And one day, I know I have a long way to go, but I firmly believe that one day, even if it's just for like five minutes, just five minutes, that's all I would, I would love to just five minutes to just be on Broadway in a musical ensemble number 16, I'm gonna get there. I would love for that opportunity. And when that day comes, oh my God, I'll probably watch this and look back on it and probably cry. But yeah, that's the goal or a goal of mine. Obviously I have higher goals, like I would love to play a lead, but obviously I want to be a little bit more realistic. And especially for a show like Hamilton, you guys were guys, I said that I didn't think I looked like ethnic enough. Like, as I said, I'm half Mexican, half Guamanian. Now, if you look at me, I am pale as fuck. I just want to say the positive response from all of you guys about that. I want to thank all of you guys for, you, like, you don't even know me. And that, like, those comments honestly made me so happy to read that you guys think that I can make it and I want to make it and hopefully one day I will. I won't stop working towards it. It's definitely a goal of mine to be able to do that. But thank you guys so much for your your words of like encouragement. I know I just sang along a little bit in the uh, <laughs> actual reaction to the songs that I did know. So hopefully this helped. Thank you guys so much. Comment below your guys' thoughts. If you didn't check out my reaction to Hamilton, where I sobbed like a bitch in Act 2 and thoroughly, heavily enjoyed all of like the rest of the show, please go check that out and then you'll understand why I did this. You guys voted between this one and Burn. I did do Burn on Patreon, so that's already up there right now, but if you don't want to look at that, don't even worry about it. I really do hope that you guys enjoyed this. Um, when you guys voted for Satisfied, I was like, fuck. Renee is such a powerful woman. Her voice is unmatched. And when you guys voted this one, my immediate thought was, okay, I know I'm not gonna live up to her expectation. The best that I can do is live up to my expectation, you know, and just try the best of what I can do. So I know in no way in hell can you compare my cover, what you just listened to, to hers. But I wanted to have fun with it and I wanted to try my best to make it me and uh, stand out on my own and how I wanted to interpret the song, especially since I did the solo version. But let's be honest, nothing compares to Renee. She's she's a queen. I love you. If you're watching this, if you ever do watch this, if freaking Lin-Manuel Miranda like watched this right now, I would die. Hi. Um, but thank you guys so much for your words, your comments in uh, the Hamilton reaction video. I love musicals, so uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for just letting me open up emotionally and make me feel good about being weird about my emotional instability because I feel things way too much. But thank you guys so much. Take care of yourselves. I love you guys so much. I'll see you next time.